All right, fish people, hope you're all doing well. And in today's video, we are going to look at what having pressure in the fish room looks like. Doesn't mean pressure on me, guys, it means pressure in my fish room on the way that it's currently set up. So, we have had some fantastic news that we can go ahead and look for a house. So, we've got our first viewing next week. So, the criteria of what we're looking for is at the moment is a townhouse. And over here in the UK, it's a three-storey house, basically. And on the bottom floor, you either have a garage or some of them over the years have been converted into, like, living areas and stuff. So, um, yeah, the one we're going looking at next week has a living area. So, basically, the reason we're looking for that is because it's, I need a fish room. So, perfect for me because it's within the house. I don't have to have, like, a separate garage or anything. But we'll see how it goes. But then that means then that my mind... Obviously, with the fish I've been buying, my mind has been on the future, the future fish room, and now I can start thinking about what I'm going to do, obviously, to start getting the rackings built and things like that. So, I'm going to show you today in this video what the pressures of the fish room look right now and a couple of um, things that are going to be happening when we move. So, the first thing I'm going to show you while I'm here is the fried tank. So, obviously, talking about pressure in the fish room, I've got my little um, personal trimat grow outs in that tank. So obviously, as you know, I've mentioned on other videos, I'm going to be doing um, my own personal sort of like trimat based on the different catch locations. Before anybody asks, I'm not putting them out into the obby and there will be a video coming out to explain why I'm not putting them into the obby. But there they are. They're doing really well. They're over an inch now, some of them. Um, and there is a couple of RTM in there at the moment, so I need to spot them at some point and move them out. So, obviously, we're talking about pressures of the fish room and what it's like right now. So, I'm going to pan you around, guys, and I'm going to start to show you what I mean. Okay, so, as you know, this, I always call this my Ascura Etris Spear Tank, but... There's other fish in the tank, obviously, and as you'll see, that's where we now have the female RTM. Now, she's been in there probably about a month now, and it's working, it's okay. Don't get me wrong, there's handbags at dawn, but the pressure on this tank is my pair of Oscura Retro Spear, which we've just been talking about, are trying to spawn in that pot. Um, and like I've said to you before, they will spawn in there, but it's just putting pressure on them having all these other fish in there. And at the same time, we've got this pair of Nicaraguan cichlids and they're trying to spawn in that pot. So they're preparing the area, but they're spending most of the time defending the area from other fish. There's also my other Etrospear in there. You see that there? That's an electric blue jack Dempsey and that's not something I keep. But there was a, I was set a challenge about three or four months ago to try and grow an electric blue jack Dempsey above five inches. And he's still alive. I've had him for about three or four months and he's still going. He's grown about an inch in that time. I've also got two Neutropolis Nematopus in there. Now, they're not paired off. Obviously, I lost one of my pair. But they, I'm not sure whether they're male or female. But they could pair off. Um, and then we've got King Dick. As you know, if you watched my last video, he is an absolute lunatic. It's not been like that too much now because there's not food in the tank. But... Honestly, this guy is mental, like we said. And then we've got this Jafirin that's going to grow quite big. So, yeah. Obviously, going back to the RTM, let's face it, guys. In theory, you wouldn't keep this fish in this tank, right? So, it's almost a dumping tank, isn't it? And I don't want to get rid of her. I don't want to get rid of her. So, the choice was put her in here, see how she works, I'll get rid of her. So, she's doing all right, but I'd like to get her out of here. And I'd like to get some space so I can breed these. These are my next project for breeding, as I've said. And these are from Cichlids of the Americas, they're F1, so good quality parents. There is another video about me, what I'm gonna tell you about, because they've had two spawns before, but I'm gonna tell you about that in another video, because obviously this one is about the pressures of the fish room. So yeah, a lot going on in there, and I'd like to start getting to a place where I can get these pairs in other tanks. That will happen when I get my fish room, which is obviously, hopefully now, not long down the road. So, let me take you into the actual fish room and we'll do a little bit of a chat around what's going on in there as well. 
Okay, so we're back in the fish room. There, Dave. Can you see Dave? So David out in Bray's even got a big fish lad top on, so let's go closer. Can you see that? There's Dave. Big fish lad. <laughs> um, anyway, so let me pan you around. So when I talk about pressure in the fish room as well, I mean room. So where else would I put another tank in this room? You go around the room and there's tanks everywhere. I'm going to say tanks everywhere. The only space I've got is in that corner there. But there's a treadmill. Chairs in the way, but there's definitely, you can see the treadmill there. So yeah, so there's not much space to put any more tanks. But, I'm just going to spin you around again. So, this is the four foot tank that has got Jagger in. There's Jagger. Still going strong in there, he's doing fine. And... My father-in-law has offered to build a stand which will hold that on the bottom and then I can have a 4x20x20 by 20 by 20 on the top. So I'm actually thinking of doing that before I move because actually it's not going to be long now till we move. So it's worth doing. The other option is this. Do I have a stand made for that tank and then... Sorry about that. There's that gravel. No one took. No one off. No one took me off on the offer. Uh, do I have a stand there for another tank on the bottom? Maybe that's something for women move because I actually, if I got one more tank under there, it would help me massively, massively. So, okay. So, obviously with this tank, it's not busting at the seams, is it? You know, we've got plenty of room in there, but there's lots of grouts in there that are going to grow quite big. So for now, this tank can't really hold any more fish in there. Sand's doing great, by the way, guys. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. Also, today, sorry, going off the subject, I got myself some worms and some river shrimp. So I'm going to do a video on feeding the Red Devil and the Trimax because I get asked all the time, why do I never feed them? And the reason for that, well, before I even do that video is because I just feed them pellets and it's boring. It's not like, it's just boring watching them eat pellets, so done that, they've not had worms, they've never had worms, so we'll see how that goes, that's another video anyway. Obviously then we've got the Triomax which are doing great, there's some fry in there, we've got some fry growing out, some Triomax fry growing out, so again I need room for some of these, because again, going back to what I was saying, I've grown myself a pair out of these, I'm not going to be keeping all those fry guys, but we are going to probably put them back in with the parents, or use them as feeders, so, but... Obviously, these are growing out for somebody else. The ones in the other room are my project. So, pair are doing well in there. They're all fine. But what I also did, guys, was this. So, this is the tank. Let me just pan back in a minute. This is the tank that had the RTM in. And, obviously, you lost the male and you've just seen the female. So, instead of me going out and putting something new in this tank, I've moved some of the other fish that I have in this tank to alleviate the pain and the pressure on the other tanks. So... We've got the two big Robert Sonai in here. We've got this pair of Sin Spiller Melanaru in here. I moved some Plecos. He was a green phantom there. Can you see him over the back? I moved some of my Plecos in here. I moved my pair of Minare in here. And I put the other Minare in here that I ended up with. The only new fish I actually added were these Morph Robert Sonais. So yeah, that did alleviate some of the pressure, which is good. Because in the past I probably would have gone out and put new fish in that tank and although I have put some new fish in I probably would have put a whole lot of new fish in or a big pair of summer so I had to do that to be honest with you to alleviate, alleviate, that, alleviate that pain so yeah that's pretty much where we're at so I'm just going to flick you back round again guys okay hope you enjoyed that guys and I hope more than anything it made sense because I sometimes feel I just start to waffle because obviously this is my world and I'm waffling through my world and you know it's not always the same when someone's looking in so I hope it made sense but yeah the future's bright and we've this is like a big thing now so buzzing I'm not really I'm buzzing but also guys just remember if you watch my videos this is my opinion my experience and I ain't an expert and there's not many experts out there so if I can if I can teach somebody something that's brilliant but also somebody can teach me and that is how the circle should work nobody's bigger than anybody else in this game so remember that guy just a bit of food for thought anyway thank you so much for all the subscriptions the comments the likes and those things it means a lot and i appreciate so much so if you're not subscribed guys 
consider subscribing. It is free. You just press the subscribe button and ping the bell for notifications. And that's it. I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you on the next one.